Where is the best place for lapping zone and beam? Lap length. Overlapping length or lap length is provided to maintain the continuity of bars to safely transfer the load from one bar to another bar. It depends on 1. The grade of concrete. 2. The grade of steel. 3. Diameter of the bar. Why do we provide lap length? Reinforcement steel is generally manufactured for a standard 12 meters length. During construction, when steel is to be provided for a length greater than 12 meters, the bars are lapped to maintain continuity in the reinforced structure. This lap length varies in different RCC structures and generally lies between 30 times diameter to 55 times diameter depending on the design and grade. The lapping zone of top and bottom reinforcement in beams are different. Let us now go through the lapping rule for the top and bottom bars of a beam separately. 1. Top bar. The lapping zone for the top bars should be at the mid-span of the beams. Reason. The top bars fall under the compression zone of the beam. For the compression zone, the mid-span of the beam is said to be a safe zone for lapping. The negative moment in this section are low and hence there is a minimal chance of failure in this area. 2. Bottom bar. The lapping zone for the bottom bars should be at a distance of length divided by 4 from the face of the column or near the ends of the beam. Reason. The bottom bars fall under the tension zone of the beam. For the tension zone, the end length divided by 4 Span of the beam near the column junction is said to be a safe zone for lapping. The positive moment in this section are less and hence there is a minimal chance of failure in this area. Important notes. 1. The lapping is not provided above 36 mm diameter bars because those diameter bars don't transfer the stresses from one bar to another bar and also the alignment of the column bar is also affected by providing the lap on these bars. 2. The lapping of the steel bars is also not provided in high shear force zones, and it should be provided at that zone where the shear force will be minimum. 3. As per IS code 456-2000, for lap length of beam, we take 24 times the diameter of the bar for the compression zone and 50 times the diameter of the bar for the tensile zone.